Hi guys, welcome back to Career Launcher YouTube. What I'm going to take you through this particular video is uh, our puzzle of DILR that appeared in CAT 2019 slot 1. Generally, there is a lot of speculation about. There is a surprise set in the paper which I may not have seen before. This type of set banana chahiye ki nahi banana chahiye. Should I solve it? Should I leave it? Let me tell you, puzzles are the types of sets. These new things that come up, these surprise sets that come up are the types of sets which are easy to solve and easy to leave also. Okay, so if you just try to solve it. If you don't, if you're not able to get to the crux of the question, then it is very easy to leave also because typically most of these puzzles will be case-based questions. And if it is a case-based question, what it is telling you essentially is that boss, pura table to banega nahi. You won't be able to form the entire table or probably table representation itself is not required. In such a case, in such a case, what do you do? You go ahead and solve only question by question. One of the questions may be easy or couple of the questions may be easy while the remaining may be tough. That is how you, that is what to cater to when you are actually looking at a puzzle based question or a surprise kind of a set which cannot be attributed to arrangements or games and tournaments or missing data for example. Alright, so let us, without much ado, let us get directly into the set what i have selected is a set from cat 2019 slot one the game show wala set so this is a new type of a set or this is a puzzle based question this is a surprise set so is my kya hota hai? not much research would have gone into actually you know this is the type of set that hasn't been is not in circulation for the last 30 years the basic seating arrangement is in circulation for the last 30 years. So what happens is that a lot of research is done on that. And hence you may end up getting difficult questions in that. But in these basic puzzles kind of questions, there is a low chance of getting a different question. So this is the set, guys. What is being said is that a new game show on TV has 100 boxes, numbered 1, 2, so on up to 100, each containing a mystery prize. We don't know what the prize is. The prizes of the different items types the price are of, prices are of the different types A, B, C. A, B, C, kitne bhi type ho sakte hai, but total 100 boxes hai. Total 100 boxes hai. So A plus B plus C, so on, should add up to 100. This is what the first two sentences are telling me. In decreasing order of value, in decreasing order of value, maane kya? Ki A sabse mehenga hoga, B will be the second most expensive, C will be the third most expensive and so on. The most expensive item is the type of A, a diamond ring, and there is exactly one of these. So, how many items of A are there? Only one. Only one diamond ring is there. Out of the all the hundred boxes, only one item is a diamond ring. You are told that the number of items at least doubles as you move to the next type. What does this mean? The number of items at least doubles at, as you move to the next type. So, if there is one item of the top first type, one item of type A, type B, there should be a minimum of two items. So B will be greater than or equal to two, minimum of two. Similarly, C should be greater than or equal to four. That is what they might have given in the next line. For example, there would be at least twice as many items of B as that of type A, at least twice as many items of type C as of that of type B and so on. That means if I assume that B K items, number of items of B is X, which says that X is greater than or equal to 2, C will be greater than or equal to 2X. C will be greater than or equal to 2X. Similarly, D will be greater than or equal to 4X and so on. There is no particular order in which the prices are placed in the box. So, so far, so far, this is the only setup that is there. There is no final conclusion that we can come to. All that we can understand is, boss, itne kuch rules hai, right? So this is the setup. This reading this setup will typically take only two to three minutes at max. Once you have read the setup and you don't understand what to do, at least look at the questions before leaving a particular set. Look at the questions. These are the questions. What is the minimum possible number of different item prices? What is the maximum possible number of different types of prices? So these are two questions, maxima and minima, Pujra, right? The third case is which of these is not possible? That means four, five different cases are there. 
the four or five different cases are there which of these is not possible is the question that is what we have to look at okay you ask for the type of item in box 45 instead of being given a direct answer so this is a particular specific case again so basically what is generic in the question is the first two questions what is the minimum possible number of different types of prices and maximum possible number of different types of prices? So let us go ahead and try and understand what the solution of this set can be. Now, please understand, these are specific cases that you will probably have to check. While this is again a specific case, you may or may not want to solve question three and four, but solving question one and two will not take much time because much time because the, the ground rules are not too heavy. There is not a lot of data to assimilate. So this is a kind of a set. This is a kind of a set in which you may very well choose to solve the first two questions and leave the next two. Right. So let us just quickly put again what all the things we know a plus B plus C plus D plus so on up to as many types of items are there. They should all add up to 100 such that there is only one item of type A. The minimum number of type items of type B is 2. Maximum minimum number of type C is 4. Minimum number of items of type D is 8 and so on according to the conditions that are given. Question kya bol rahe? What is my goal in the first question? The goal says what is the minimum possible number of different items of prices? Different types of prices. Minimum possible different types. What are types? A, B, C, D are types. If I want to minimize the types, I should maximize the number of a particular item. If I want to minimize the types, I should maximize the number of particular item. I know A is one that is fixed. B is a minimum of two. Is there an upper limit on B? There is no upper limit on B. So can I take 99 items of B itself? 99 items of type B, does it satisfy or not satisfy all the conditions? It does. There is not necessarily more than two types. No? It is given that, okay, if A, B, C, D, all of them exist, then B must be at least twice of A. It satisfies that condition. So what is the minimum possible number of different price types of prices? Using two types of prices, we have reached 100. So that is it. So the answer to this will be two. Two types is enough. Let us look at the second question. What is the maximum possible number of types of prices? Maximum possible number of types of prices. Again, I know A, B, C, D, all of them have to add up to 100. The number of items have to add up to 100. If I want to maximize types of items, I should try to minimize the number corresponding to each one. So one, minimum of B is two, minimum of C is four, Minimum of D will be twice of that 8. Then there can be an E such that I have 16 items of that. Till now, how many items are there? 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 is 31, right? I can also have an F. If I have an F and I minimize that also 32, 32. I have six different types of prices now. Six different types of prices A, B, C, D, E, F, which add up to which add up to 63. 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 will give us 63. Now the question is, can I have the next type G such that G has only 37 items so that the total adds up. Up to here, we have reached 63. If I add a G with 37 items, I will reach 100. But is it violating any of the cases or any of the conditions? Yes, it is violating a condition where if G exists, G should be a minimum of 64, isn't it? If F is 32, G should be a minimum of 64. We cannot have 37 prices of 37 type items of the uh, type G. So this is not a possible case. That means I cannot go ahead and have the seventh type of price. But it is possible to have six types of price that is uh, prices that is well within the limit. So what I can do is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16. Till here we have added up to 31. There can be 69 items of type F and that is fine. So the maximum possible number of different types of items is 6. So within the first 5 minutes of the question, if you are able to answer the first 2 questions, 
getting six marks and if you feel after this the other two questions are tedious leave it five minutes mein chhe question chhe number yaar free mein thodi milta hai it is a very good deal it is a very good deal leave the other two questions if you are not confident but because the type of question that this is the quantum of data to assimilate is not very high i think it is a good choice to go ahead and solve question 3 and question 4 as well so let us take a look at question 3 we have already seen six types of item prices are possible now let us take a look at question 3 which of the following is not possible there are 75 items of type e a b c d e basically if there are 75 items of type e there are 75 items of type e type f to banega hi nahi na because we will require at least 150 items of type f so total number of items will be 5 only in this case if the total number of items is 5 so e for e i have 75 for a i have 1 76 is gone b plus c plus d should add up to 24 i can have 2b 4c or 6c or anything like that and uh, i can have 16d for example this adds up to 100 and are b at least twice as much as a yes are c is at least twice as much as b yes are d is at least twice as much as c yes are e is at least twice as much as d yes so this is a possible case item 75 items of type e is a possible case so this is not the answer to this there are exactly 45 items of type c there are exactly 45 items of type c now please understand if there are 45 items of type c if there are 45 items of type c what is the minimum number of type d items i should have if type d exists 90 but 45 plus 90 will cross 100 so d will not be there that means that means c itself is the maximum a uh, c itself is the last type of price so there are only three types of prices in this case so if there are three types of prices c is 45 in number what is the maximum value that b can take because c has to be a minimum of twice of b the maximum value that b can take over here is 22 and a is only one in this case these three numbers only add up to 68 which is not equal to 100 boss 100 items to chahiye mere ko this is not a possible case there are exactly 45 items of type c is not a possible case because if there are 45 items of type c that has to be the last type of price that is there and which would mean that you cannot suffice the condition of having 100 items so option 2 and don't need to check for option 3 and option 4 let's look at question 4 you ask for the type of item in box 45 instead of being given a direct answer you are told that there are 31 items of the same type as box 45 in boxes 1 to 44 so boxes 1 to 44 mein 31 items of this type is there box 45 is type x man lo so 31 items of this is there one item is in box 45 and what else is given and there are 43 items of the same type as box 45 in the boxes 46 to 100 so from box 46 to 100 there are 30 there are 43 more items of that type so 31 plus 43 plus 1 75 items of one type is there 75 items of one type is there okay we just saw in the previous question there are exactly 75 items of type e this is a possible case in that case e is the maximum e is the maximum so what is the maximum possible number of different types of items five because e is the fifth type of item using the case in the previous question you could answer this question so this is an entire set that you can probably get 12 marks out of within 10 minutes of time please understand because this is a surprise kind of a set because this is a puzzle kind of a set bahut zyada research nahi hota hai is pe and hence these kind of questions are easy to solve as well as easy to leave so in the first 2 3 minutes you are not able to catch what is the crux of the question it is also equally easy to leave so that was the video guys that was the set 
from CAT 2019 slot 1. I remember sitting in the paper and actually solving this set. This is a pretty easy set, you may say, but there may be apprehensions about, you know, puzzle type question and surprise. That is why I decided to, to take this up. So every Thursday, I'll be here taking you through some sets of DILR or some questions of quantitative ability, basically probably arithmetic or algebra so that I help you, you know, my agenda is to try and help you to understand how you approach questions logically. So that was the video, guys. If you like it, please like, uh, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel. Every Thursday, I'll be here bringing you a new video. Thank you.